God's favor is upon His people. He continually blesses them. In Psalm 30, verse 5, David says that, I've learned that his anger lasts for a moment, but his loving favor lasts a lifetime. We may weep through the night, but in daybreak it will turn into shouts of ecstatic joy. David seemed to be talking about God's discipline when he said that his anger lasts for a moment. However, his loving favor lasts a lifetime. Though a person may weep through the night for a while, when the day breaks, there would be outbursts of joy and laughter. When God disciples the righteous, when he's angry with the believer, it's only for a short while, and it's only because he loves us. Hebrews 12 verse 6 says, The Lord disciplines the ones he loves, and chastises every son whom he receives. The discipline is a big opportunity to experience God's favor, for the discipline is short and only for a while, and after it comes God's eternal and never-ending favor. God is always pleased to show forth His blessings and favor over His children. Over the works of their hands, He's always interested in blessing them and making them stand out in several places for favored things. Yes, God favors His own. He favors the inhabitants of Zion, and God's unending favor is with the believers. Because you favor Zion, do what is good for her. Be the protecting wall around Jerusalem. Psalm 51 verse 18 God is extremely pleased to favor His children and to establish them, to bless them and prosper them, than their earthly fathers ever could. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 to 4 His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of Him who called us to His glory and excellence, by which He has granted to us His precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. God has provided all, everything that you ever need to live this present life abundantly. His blessings are so numerous that He's able to bless us abundantly with them. He gave us these precious and plenty promises so that we can live a good life. As believers, we're made for more greatness. God doesn't want you to be small in life. He owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. God wants you to grow and get bigger and bigger. Psalm 65 verse 4 says, Blessed is the one whom you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We will be filled with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. God has blessed the believer with so many blessings. God's blessings eternally in his house, and so the believer is filled and satisfied from the overflowing blessings of the living God. For the Lord God is brighter than the brilliance of a sunrise wrapping himself around me like a shield. He is so generous with his gifts of grace and glory. Those who walk along his paths with integrity will never lack one thing they need, for he provides it all. Psalm 84 verse 11. The King James Version says that God bestows favor and honor, and he doesn't withhold any blessing, anything from those who walk uprightly, the believers. You must realize that God wouldn't withhold any good thing from you. To be favored means to be singled out for God's mercy, for special treatment. When God favors a man, natural events would turn around for that person's good. The person is made outstanding and different. When God favors a person, He blesses them and makes them prosperous. Number 6 verse 25 to 26 God smiles on you and gifts you. God will make you prosper. Favor changes everything around. And remember, as we said earlier, God's favor toward you is everlasting. It's for a lifetime. Psalm 133 verse 3 says, As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, 
for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. God has commanded His blessing upon the believer forevermore. This blessing keeps flowing for life. It's unending. The blessing of the Lord makes rich, and He adds no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10 verse 22 It's God who blesses a man truly. He blesses abundantly and seeks nothing in return. He doesn't take away things from a person's life when He blesses them. He gives His unending blessings and adds no sorrow. Our God is so big that He can give Himself to people. He has so many blessings that He's capable of blessing everyone unending. God has so much. He is the blessing. No wonder He's able to bless us with unending blessings. God Himself proclaimed and said, Every animal of field and forest belongs to me, the Creator. I know every movement of the birds in the sky, and every animal in the field is in my thoughts. The entire world and everything it contains is mine. Psalm 50 verse 10 to 11 An infinite God can give all of Himself to each of His children. He does not distribute Himself that each may have a part, but to each one He gives all of Himself, as fully as if there were no others. Genesis 27 verse 28 Now may God give you of the dew of heaven, and of the fatness of the earth, and an abundance of grain and new wine. Isaac prayed this prayer upon his son Jacob. He could only pray this prayer because he knew that God had in abundance, and so he can give his son blessings too in abundance. Just as Jacob was blessed in abundance, so also will you be blessed with God's unending blessings. Psalm 145 verse 16 When you open your generous hand, it's full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. God's blessings are so plenteous and unending that He satisfies the desire of every creature. Psalm 65 verse 11 to 12 shows God's plenty of blessing capabilities when it declares about God and said, You crown the earth with its yearly harvest, the fruits of your goodness. Wherever you go, the tracks of your chariot wheels drip with oil. Luxuriant green pastures boast of your bounty as you make every hillside blossom with joy. The Lord's favor and blessings are overflowing and never-ending. No wonder the psalmist said that, You've anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. This is because God's blessings are plenteous. That's why He can give, and it'll abound toward us in such more than we can ever ask think or imagine, according to His power which works in us. God's blessings and favor are totally by His will and choice, and the will of God is to bless and favor those who believe in Him. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 6, the Israelites were blessed if they followed God's commands. He blessed them in so many ways. God blessed them in the city, in the field, in the fruit of their bodies, in the cattle, in their sheep, in their basket and their store. God even blessed their going out and coming in. God's blessings toward His people are always abounding in plenty, and it never ends. God is always in the business of blessing and showing forth His plenty of favor and blessings toward His people. Yes, God remains the ever-faithful God, who continues to bless His people across their generations. Even to date, God still blesses, and to date, God still provides abundantly, and He shines His favor and blessings upon those who believe in Him. No wonder Paul said that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places through Christ Jesus. Peter went ahead and also said that we have been given all things, all things that to life and godliness. Psalm 34 verse 8 Drink deeply of the pleasures of this God. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies He gives to all who turn to hide in Him.
all that is needed for you to enjoy God's unending favor and blessings is to belong to the family of God. Once you're a member, all these blessings and favor shall be yours. Oh, the taste and see God's favor and blessings. His goodness is forever. It's for this lifetime and the life that is to come. God's favor and blessings are unending.